Hey guys, Professor Ramey. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to assuage any doubt and uh, get ready to relax about what's going on with quiz number three. Um, and I'm sorry for being incommunicado and not getting back to your emails. Uh, the past uh, week and a half, I've been taking care of my granddad. Uh, he does not have internet, so I'm gonna come up here to campus sometimes and check emails, but then um, this whole weekend and up through Monday, I was back over there. I thought I had everything up on the quizzes, and I thought everything was ready, good to go for me to uh, for me to replace it right now. And it turns out that was not the case. When I opened up my email, uh, I have 42 messages saying, "Hey, Ramy, what's going on with Quiz Three?" And here's the answer: I don't know what's going on with Quiz Three because when I look at it from the faculty view, it has the questions there posted, ready to go. When I go into the student role and try to get it, uh, obviously they're not there. So. What do we do? Well, I guess since y'all didn't complete it, you all get a big fat zero. Tough luck. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, and you probably already see it on your grade book. I mean, that, that, that's messed up. And I, and I uh, uh, apologies. I don't, I don't know what happened, but here's what we're going to do. Um, if you attempted it, I have a little mark that shows if you attempted it, if you attempted it, you'll get a 20 out of 20. Um, you, you, it'll, it'll be 100 right there. Um, so don't feel you have to go back and retake the quiz or do anything like that. Now, if you did not attempt it because you heard from a classmate, you're like, what's going on? I just won't even try until it's fixed. Let me know because there's still some students in the class that haven't attempted anything. I've done anything. I didn't want to put a grade down since I guess by that they're not really in the class, even though they're on the, uh, the roll. Um, so as long as you attempted it, right, then you are going to be okay. Um, once again, if you fall into that other category, please uh, send me a line and I'll correct it. Also on that, we're missing a discussion board post. And so that's what I, uh, in the bigger picture what I want to get to, right? Now, first off, everything with my grandparents is now finally okay. Thank goodness. Um, it's not been an easy situation, but you don't want to hear about that. You have your own concerns. Um, so because of that, because we got off to a little bit of a slow burn in this start, uh, in this class, and then, what we're going to do is I'm going to make some small changes going forward. The first thing, and probably the thing the most important to you, is we are going to drop one essay. There were originally four argumentative essays in this class. There will now only be three. Um, doing that because the first one was going to be due this weekend, and I was not, in my opinion, give you adequate time to get it up by then. So I'm moving the first one actually to Thursday, November 17th, right? Um, and so your point total will re reflect that. There'll be now fewer points in the class uh, there, but then of course one less paper to write. I'm also gonna drop the total on discussion points because I still want us to discuss uh, the issues of laissez-faire, free market capitalism, communism, and I still will post that, right? But I wanna make sure you all have ample time to get to your full 200 points. So I'm gonna drop that down um, to um, we're going to start at 175 and to get to at least to 175 on the discussion points. As soon as I get done with this video, I will uh, put up the discussion about laissez-faire free market capitalism, about consumerism, labor unions, and such. And feel free on those to discuss whatever you want to discuss. But might I make a suggestion? Wait until I post the first uh, questions regarding essay number one. Now, roughly two or three hours after this video comes out, I'm also going to post uh, another video explaining how to write the essays. I usually won't do that for the remaining. I won't do a video. I just want to make sure to walk you through the steps and make sure we're clear on what I'm looking for. Um, this time there's also going to be something a little different about the essays. I'm going to give you more options. There are going to be three questions for the first essay, and you're gonna choose one of those three, right? Uh, ordinarily, there'll only be one option. Sometimes, uh, maybe on one, they'll have two if I think of a question I really wanna ask and it fits in well, right? But there'll be three options, covering uh, from going back to laissez-faire capitalism to progressivism, and um, we'll see if to put up uh, World War I on that in Americanization. That will be due on Thursday, November 17th. Now, turn around the corner on Sunday, November 20th, right? So, uh, I give, uh, what is that, uh, 12 days from now, we have our research paper will be due. 
Now the research paper is another very simple assignment. It's actually very easy if you follow my instructions. So I will post a video later today talking about how to do the research paper, right? Um, other due dates for things in the class, we're gonna try to keep all the papers due on Sunday. It seems like a, a perfect fit, right? You can get it, if you need to work on the weekend on the class, you can get it done during the weekend. You can finish it early, you finish it early. Uh, so the following Sunday, the 27th, right, we'll have essay number two due. And then uh, the following, I believe, is December 4th will be our final essay, right? So pretty much Thursday of uh, next week, and then every Sunday after that until the 4th, and then we're done. On that, we'll just have some quizzes and, of course, the final exam uh, coming up at the end of class. So for the middle chunk, there's a bit to going on right there. Very easy, of course, at the start and very easy, of course, at the end, but you can get rolling. So if you have any questions, comments, and concerns, once again, the discussion board, my email. If you're losing faith in my ability to return emails, just understand this was a very, I don't know what the word is, awkward uh, now it's not good. anyway it was an awkward situation and um, there wasn't a lot to be done about it but as always just relax on that I would never have something that would affect your grade that I did not feel I'd adequately prepared you for give you adequate chance to do that so if you got hesitations or concerns please let me know but relax we'll get it all going uh, there um, we have a pretty good course calendar laid out I will put up the remaining quizzes and double check them when uh, with the student role to make sure that they're gonna post correctly as for the video about the Panic of 1893 that I said I would post, um, there's no real reason for me to post it now because uh, you can't see that either. Uh, that was just a short little topic. It was just kind of humorous um, about how the Panic of 1893 and the Wizard of Oz are actually the exact same story. I, you know, it, it's too late and too far gone now to uh, actually put that up. So relax about that one. Don't worry about it. Um, and we'll just go forward from there. I will post the remaining quizzes coming up uh, for the next two weeks. Uh, it should be up either tonight, if latest tomorrow, uh, there, and um, any other videos. But immediately today, if you want to get started, uh, by sometime this evening, there will be a video up about the essay, the first essay, how to write it, and then you'll compare that to what's on uh, Desire to Learn uh, about which topic and what, what to pick and submission process and then following that there will be a video about the research paper my hope is that I'll have the video where I can show you the steps because you're gonna do the vast bulk of this and hopefully all of it the research will be done online I'll show you how to get there and what I want you to do and if we can get captured to work it'd be fantastic uh, until then just let me know if you have any questions if you have something that's really panicking you you feel free to give me a call this is you know I don't know some of y'all very serious about your grades and it's and you were nervous when your professor didn't get back to you press me be okay if you really have a concern or something you get a hold of me about that's fine to call me for something like that right 832-918-0315 all right best